you ever had a really great idea and then 10 seconds in you realize this is a terrible idea why have i done this to myself because that's me i was celebrating man i was like this is video is gonna go off the wall and then i started and only pain remained <laughs> so here i am right intel Pentium g3250 how does it run with modern games none too crazy right what could possibly go around and then i see that it doesn't have avx2 support and i think for a minute i think and i ignore it let's just move on it's fine two cores and two threads is rough but we're running with 16 gigabytes of ddr3 ram in dual channel that clocked at 1400 megahertz where it hurts to be clocked at i don't really care at this point i run with a gtx 1070 8 gigabyte vram graphics card which is overkill for this damn thing anyway it doesn't really matter and every game will be tested on the ssd just to help me out even further right let's go but I'm, I'm curious i really do believe that we can get some performance out of this so we're gonna start off with something heavy that's right the last of us part one i made a mistake false alarm guys i forgot the last of us part one was you know a ps5 exclusive it makes sense it might have some issues how about the last of us part 2 a ps4 title what in the <laughs> you know what my bad my bad let's try something easier ratchet and clank rift apart <laughs> ninja gaiden 4 I messed up gang we are not okay we are not okay abort mission abort mission i feel the walls closing in on me and then there's that stare again man what you didn't know it wasn't gonna get anything to run did you hey we first off we got clear obscure expression 33 managing to run on the, the cpu completely paid at 100 percent right off the bat we're seeing about 26 fps on average those one percent lows are rough and this is not playable you may be looking at this and going wow i mean this is better than nothing this is not playable guys once we get into gameplay stuff gets really bad it's rough over here dude this one ain't going great but hey at least boot it up I ain't gonna lie, I panicked there for a second thinking that this wasn't even gonna get to the damn first battle. Silent Hill F also managed to run on the system much better over 30 FPS on average, which I thought, you know, could be worse. But once again, running at 1080p low, every game will be at 1080p low, by the way. Just clear obscure use. I used FSR4 and Dying Light. I'm going to use FSR4 as well. But everything else is just native 1080p low. Obviously, to give my GPU some sort of breathing room because some of these games are extremely demanding for some reason or another. But yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What did you expect? Two cords and two threads. Where is everyone? What about Chizuruya? Maybe I'll find someone there. I 
I'm shocked how this worked. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. How this was, was, wasn't on my bingo cards. I'll tell you that much. Once again, we're getting over 30 FPS on average here. The fact that this one can run, even though I feel like this one is one of the, the more demanding titles, really makes me, gives me hope for the rest of this video. I mean, this is some shocking stuff, ain't it? I knew it was fake! I knew it! I knew it! I just needed a minute with trails in the sky the first chapter. I just... I just needed to see high frames for once. A game that just came out like a month ago is able to run at over 120 frames. The G3250 going crazy, bro! It's an anime game. These things are low end. Uh, whatever. Up to this point I was fine, until I ran into this. Oh gosh, the bane of my existence. I hate this. If I could shoot it, I would. I need you to understand, these sometimes take me over half an hour just to load. This is a long time I've taken to do this video. This was like 15 minutes long or something. It took really long for this. But Lost of Sight did run here on the system. Ran a lot better, was getting me over 30 for sure. Well, in game, at least at the beginning of the game anyway. I, I don't know how this would have performed overall. The stutters were ridiculous. This was a stuttery mess. The G3250 is not playable in this game no matter how high a frame rate you get. There's too many enemies on screen. It, it can't handle it. It's two cores, man. I got lazy on Dying Light the Beast. I'm just gonna be honest with you here. I thought about going outside, playing till this part to go outside, but I was like, what's the point, man? To have to then run outside here, like, it takes way too long as it is. My CPU is 100%. Just assume it's gonna be like, like around 30 once I get outside. I'm probably gonna drop into the 20s when there's too many zombies on screen. Just, just move on, man. Things were, lo I was losing motivation at this point. I always say you can never go wrong with Final Fantasy 7 Remake. It runs surprisingly well on low end hardware. As you can see, we're getting over 60 FPS with the G3250, man. It's working. I mean, it's coming close with the GPU. This is 1080p low once again. And it runs without too much issues here. Not really getting the start. The frame rate and frame times are ridiculous. They're all over the place, which you will expect. That CPU is not moved from 100% in any of these games. But regardless, it is playable. Moving we should. 
Go ahead. Enough of this. And finally, Kronos, the new Dawn. Surprisingly, this one ran. I don't know why Silent Hill 2 didn't. That might have been an error on my part, to be fair, though. The game appears to run well at the beginning for like two seconds, and then the second I started running, the stutters came, man. And they came hard. I was like, what's happening? What is, what, what is going on here? So, I don't think any of these games were damn playable on the G3250. What did we learn here to do? The G3250 sucks. I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Trust me, having to go through most of these games, there were a lot more games I test. I tried to test. The compiling of shaders just didn't make it happen, bro. It was rough. Most games don't run to begin with because it doesn't have AX, AVX2 support. Doesn't have anything really. New games in the G3250 just don't mix. I will see you guys next time. This has been painful.